Hey, what's up everybody? It's uh, Cloak Schemer, and today I'm streaming in VR. Uh, as you can see, I got the stream cam on. I got my uh, full body on. And you may be wondering, uh, what? If this is a really good camera. Usually people in VR can only stream like this, where you could have the focus, you could have the pins, you could have the behavior. I could have the camera look at me, go everywhere I go. I could even have the camera follow me. But... There's one problem with this kind of camera view. As you may know, a lot of people can't stream like this if you're in desktop. But today, I'll show you how you can stream like this in desktop. And for an example, I'm going to switch to desktop. Alright, and I'm back at it again, but this time I'm in uh, desktop. As you can see, this isn't the perfect controls. But even in desktop, I could still dance. Uh, let me find my emote me menu. I can still do uh, emotes. Uh, they apparently don't work on my avatar, which is strange. But yes, I could do a lot of emotes, VR chat emotes. Uh, I think I broke my emotes, so they're not working properly. But I can still mess with my toggles. I could uh, put on my furry suit. I could put popcorn in my hand. I could uh, take off my shirt. As you can see, toggles work. And everything and you could move the camera around like I could edit the settings on the camera to where the behavior is look at me and I could have it anchored to me so uh, yeah let's go ahead and uh, explore oh well, yo what's up it's cloak schemer I'm over here but yeah I'm gonna show you how you could set this up for VR chat so let's get started all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started so first off here we have uh, the VR chat patch notes so what you're going to want to do is to open up the patch notes. This is a this is in my opinion a good way to find it. So I'm going to open up the document in the description. I'm going to find the uh, patch notes down here. I'm going to scroll down all the way until I find right here where it's under camera update. You'll find desktop stream mode. And in desktop stream mode, the first one should have a link directly to the website you're going to be looking for, which is Spout. And for Spout, you don't have to click this download. Look for the program you are trying to download Spout for down here. And for me, I'm going to be downloading it for OBS. So I'm going to click on the OBS icon and it's going to take me to this page, the GitHub page. And you just want to download the Spout 2 plugin install. And when you download this, as you see, I already have it. But when you download this, all you got to do is just open up the exe file and it should automatically uh install it into obs for you but make sure you have obs uh pretty obvious there but make sure you have obs for the that the spout plugin to automatically install into it and that's pretty much all you do once you download this as you see i've already downloaded it and uh, installed it but now i'm going to get to obs and i'm going to show you how to set it up for vr chat all right here i am in obs and i've already set up the spout cam by just opening up the exe files and doing the simple setup and now it's implanted in my ovs so first thing you want to do is you want to look for find where you want to add it in the sources and for the sources for the spout cam you want to go down here look for spout 2 which is right here i'm going to type name this vr chat camera and it's going to come up like this for spout senders i don't have it up right now but i'm going to close this for now i'm just going to stretch this up to the scene that i want it uh go back to the display and then i'm going to go back to vr chat so here i am in vr chat and next up i want to find my camera which is down here open up stream camera and place it where I want to look at and I'm just gonna look at myself you know give a little bird's eye view whatever this is uh, the average VRC streamer look but as you can see I, I can move around I could do everything but I, but you may notice something I'm not actually streaming like if I was to go on the, the VR chat filter it doesn't show anything like you're not seeing me you're not looking at me you're just looking at my avatar through this camera but in order to set this up for spout cam you're going to want to go back to here well let's go back to vr chat you want to activate spout cam and as you notice nothing's happening it says 
oh, let's see this. Spout screen stays on while camera is closed. But as you see, uh, it's still not recording the camera's POV. It's recording my POV. So I'm gonna head back here to OBS and I'm gonna go back to this, open up the spout cam, but it's a mess right now. So what you wanna do first is to go right click your spout cam after you activate, like after you activate the spout cam setting right down here in the camera, you're gonna to wanna to go here, right click the spout camera you just made in your sources, go to properties, look for senders, and now VR chat sender one is gonna show up. So all I gotta do is click on that, and there you go. I just click okay, show the screen, and look at that. Oh, my camera's a little stretched out, so let me fix that real quick. Uh, if your camera's stretched out, uh, I'll show this part too. Uh, you can just right click it, go to uh, transform, and fit to screen. And let me go back, and there you go. Now you have your own spout cam, and here's me, just uh, moving around in desktop. And look at that, I got my own unique camera. Now there's a there's actually a really good settings like the spout camera is really good in my opinion like it's it's a really good thing for VR chat to add something like this for desktop users because there's there's a lot of potential you could have with this camera and one thing I would recommend or not recommend but just you know if you if you're like somebody who wants to be a VTuber like let's say I'm going to be right here I'm going to be looking like this what you could do in your VR chat settings, I'm gonna disable the spout camera, but uh, let me show you real quick. I'm gonna go here. What you could do in your VR chat settings is you could go down here to mass, set up green screen, and well, let me turn off the world and then set up green screen. And then you could go back to the spout settings, right click, filters, and then I'm going to add a chroma key where chroma key filter and look at that. Now I'm going to go back to spout cam. It's me right again. And then I could just put that down here. And now one thing this does, I could reopen up VR chat. Look at that. I have a budget VTuber model. That's right, a uh, budget VTuber, cloak schemer, and then I could just uh, change the, uh, where is it? Change the camera mode to uh, look at me, and there you go. Cloak schemer, budget VTuber model. Oh, and I guess uh, one thing that also helps, anchor to local. And there you go. Uh, I guess I can move myself way over here. But as you see, uh, one thing that's really good about this spout cam is you could use it as like a budget VTuber model. I could just move around and play VR chat while my avatar is right down there. And yeah, it's actually a really good setting. There's uh, three different variations of cloak schemer now. I got the main avatar, I got the face camera, and I got my VTuber model right there on the corner. So that's a really good setting for a spout. So hopefully uh, a lot of people can find some unique ways to use this. I consider it a budget VTuber and it could also help with recording. So I don't have to always get in full body for these type of streamings. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and yeah, see ya.